Nesta, really warm welcome to the club. How have you been settling in so Thank far? Thank you. Um, no, I've been loving it. Uh, I've been here for a couple of weeks now and, and credits to the boys, they're a great bunch. They've, they've welcomed me in from the first day I've come in. The, the backroom staff, the, the coaching staff have made me feel very welcome and, and that's all you want as a player coming in. You feel comfortable and, and you can focus on your football. So yeah, I've been loving it so far. Obviously the actual signing itself was on the eve of the season, but as you mentioned, you've already had that trial at the club and what was that like? What was that process like for you? Yeah, it was intense. It's, it's a big step up for me coming into the Reading Football Club. It's a massive club and, and I'm looking to relish the challenge and, and keep improving every day. Um, I'm, I'm, hu I'm hungry and eager to learn and improve and, and when you look at the experience and the quality in the dressing room, the coaching staff, the gaffer, uh, it's a perfect environment for me to really develop my game and, and hopefully kick on. A couple of things you've touched on already. First is your teammates. You mentioned already that you know they've been making you feel really welcome. That's really useful, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Especially for me, like I say, I'm, I'm 22. I'm, I'm looking to learn and improve. I know I've got a lot to improve on in my game. Um, and when you look around the dressing room, the, the mix of experience and, and quality, just training with them every day, you, you pick up little things, you start improving and, and the longer I'm in and amongst it, the, the better it can be for me. And obviously you touch on the manager as well and his staff, I mean the manager himself played at the highest level and stuff, it can't, can't be anything but a good thing can it, for, for a player to learn from. Yeah, for a young player the gaff has achieved anything you, you could dream to want to achieve so like I said there's no better place for me to be at the moment, um, I'm loving it um, and looking forward to the season ahead. So your, your sort of route here is quite unique in some regards. You know, you went, you had some academy football, but stepped through Sunday league and, and non-league and, and, and earned, sort of earned your stripes, if you like. Yeah, um, it's been a difficult route for me, but you, you learn a lot about yourself um, as a person, as a player, and, and I wouldn't change it, uh, if, I, if I'm honest. So it's good for me. I think I've got a good foundation. Uh, I've managed to rack up just under 100 League One appearances, which I think will put me in good stead for this season. Um, to build upon um, and learn. So, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the season. As you say, yeah, you wouldn't swap it. You've had to yeah, show real strength of character from a young age, haven't you, really? Yeah, and, and like you say, you can take that on to you into the, the, the next stage of your career. Um, I say learning that as a young age, I play men's football from, from 18. Now I'm 22, I've got a good, like I say, a good foundation and, and now stepping into this environment where it's going to be a test for me. Um, but I'm looking to relish that and, and like I say, develop as you say there, you know, playing, see, Met Police first, then, you know, so many games at Wimbledon already at a young age. It's great grounded, isn't it, to sort of, uh, to kind of work off, you know, you know what it's like in competitive environments, what, you know, three points at the weekend is just everything, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. Three points is, is all you want at the, end of the, at the end of the week. So, obviously, we were a bit disappointed um, come Saturday, but I thought the boys deserved more from the game, especially in that second half. We were really on the front foot, but we'll take that in our stride. There's a lot to build on. Um, it's going to be a long season and there'll definitely be some free points on the way. And then tell us a little bit about you as a player that our, play, our fans, I should say, have seen you at Blackpool, have seen you at Carlton Trial a couple of times. Tell us a bit about your game, what you like to, what you like to bring to a team. Yeah, I'm an attacker left back. I like to, to get forward. I like to be exciting, um, get the fans on the edge of their seat. But at the same time, your defensive duties come first. So that's, that's big as well for me. So I just want to kind of add to the team and, and see what I can do to, to showcase that. You've touched on it already, that first game you know, ticked off, if you like, you know, the first of 46, one game down. What did you make of that game at Blackpool? I mean, you've touched on it already, but uh, yeah, a tricky one to take, no, no points at the end of it. Yeah, it was a, it's a big step up for me, the, the intensity, the quality. Um, it's the first 90 minutes I've played in, in a while, so that was good to get under my belt. Um, and I'm proud to have made my championship debut, um, proud to be a Reading player. Obviously, it's not an ideal situation. It, I would have dream, dreamt of it to be three points that we were coming back with. But like I say, a lot to, lot to take from the game, lots of positives, um, a lot to build on. And like I say, it's, it's going to be a long season uh, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. You touched on it too as well. You know, I think you had a high profile cup game against Arsenal, like was that last season. And other than that, you know, this is a, you know, a great new experience for you and hopefully one that you'll sort of, um, you know, the more and more you play, the more sort of you'll Getting, feel more comfortable and, and all the rest of it, all that comes with that experience you're going to gather in the next few weeks. Yeah, most definitely. Um, like I say I'm, I'm eager to learn, I'm, I'm eager to improve. I've got a lot to improve on in my game. Um, I'm not going to shy away from that. And, and like I say, this is a perfect environment for me when I've touched on it already, the, the players, the, the level, the, the coaches. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about seeing how far I can, I can develop and, and hopefully mould into the team well and, and have something to offer. And obviously this is the start of a, a journey this season too and 
you know, there's still a little bit of transfer activity hopefully to come. There'll be players coming in back and hopefully everything's going to fall into place and I guess you must be feeling optimistic about what's to come around the corner. Definitely. You, you look at that team and, and there's a real spirit around the building that, that we've got a good group together. I mentioned when I came in, they, they made me feel welcome from the get-go and, and there's some real quality in there. So it's going to be an exciting season. Um, I think we'll pull together and, and stick together and have a, a really good year. And lastly, we're at the start of this journey, if you like, but do you set yourself any goals or ambitions personally or to get as it comes? Where, how do you see it? I mean, the first step was getting my debut for the club. Um, so I'm grateful to have, have done that so early on in the season. But I'll take it week by week, day by day, coming in, trying to better myself, trying to improve, trying to impress the manager every day. Um, I say the levels in training are high. The levels on the match days are high. So I'm just trying to come in, attack every day and, and keep improving, keep getting better and, and see where that takes me.